Hello, welcome. Um, I'm Leslie from Teaks Resort. I, I customize Teaks for different people. And today I'm going to be making a video about prepping your Teaks to paint. It's also known as deglazing. These are the tools that you will need. You'll need some cotton balls. I use acetone to deglaze mine. Um, you can also use Angelus um, deglazer. If you have never customized teaks before or painted teaks, um, I suggest getting some electrical tape, or I think some people use frog tape to mask off the bottoms. So you'll want to tape, tape around the bottoms here so that you don't mess up the brown part and it'll also help when you paint too in case you're a little messy you're also going to need some shoe forms to put in your teaks to hold them nice and tight and flat so that they get a nice surface to be painted on the first thing you're going to want to do is to put your shoe forms in your teaks um make sure they're clipped down make sure they are tight but not tight enough that they're going to stretch them out. The sides will probably have a little give to them, but that's okay. You just don't want wrinkles in there. So I'm going to be doing cream teaks today, and these are pretty bad about peeling or um, crumbling. If you've ever been in a rehab group or seen people talk about painting teaks, and I'm going to show you what that's going to be like. And that's why I'm doing these because these are pretty much going to be the worst things that you're ever going to come across. After you have the shoe form in, use your masking tape, not masking tape, use your electrical tape and go right around the sides. Make sure you use your fingernail and push right up against where the top and the bottom meet. This way you'll have a good seal and that when you start painting, you won't get on the brown part and it'll also protect your um, soles. Um, sometimes when you deglaze, I don't usually tape mine off, but you might get some little crumbly pieces on the bottom of the brown. And that's not going to be a big deal for me because I can clean it off pretty easy. But as I said, if you're new to painting, new to rehabbing, um, it's going to help when you start painting your shoes. So when I use my cotton balls, I like to peel them a little bit so that they will unroll. This makes sure that you don't oversaturate the cotton ball and it'll also make the cotton ball last a lot longer. So when I use my acetone, put it on top, just a quick tip, and that's all I'll need for a while. I usually like to start at the back. Now for these, as I said, these will crumble. And if you notice, they're starting to crumble right there with just a little acetone. So to not be so harsh on the shoes, I uh, rub them. I'll get them a little moist with the cotton ball and then I'll rub it to get most of it off of there. You don't want to oversaturate the leather with acetone because it is pretty harsh on there. And if you can see, it just peels right off. Now, not all tea colors do this. It's usually the lighter colors. I have had some black classics, however, that have also peeled. So that's what it looks like. And it just crumbles right off. So if you are working on a pair and, you, and they start crumbling on you, don't worry. It is normal for a lot of colors, especially the ones that have been released lately. And uh, it'll, it'll be fine. You do not need to take all of the color off. As I said, some, some colors don't crumble like this. So if they don't, that's fine. But a good way to figure out if they will is if you get a little wet like that and then just take your finger and run across it. If you start seeing it peel up, 
and having these little crumbly pieces come off, then you'll know that the whole shoe will be like that. More than likely, the, both of them in the pair will. You do not need to take off all of the color. Um, it will not change. Some, some shoes don't even change in color. This one has a little bit lighter base under the color layer, and that's totally fine. So I have this one finished, and this one is not touched at all, and you can see there is a color difference. It's usually gonna be a little lighter when you deglaze them. Not always. The darker colors won't be. And this is the mess from deglazing one shoe. So as I said, it's messy. Now the reason we do this is so that when we paint it, the deglazing opens up the leather pores so that the paint can adhere to the leather better. And also, when you paint, you don't want it very thick. So leaving these layers on or make, not getting all of this layer off, because as you see, there is a lot of it, will eventually cause the new paint to crack and it could cause it to peel. So we have to make sure that we deglaze properly before we paint and customize our teeks. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm always available to answer questions. And uh, if you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button and let me know. Thanks for joining me.